storming into ballot storage sites and setting votes on fire. Thousands of protesters in Bolivia have lost faith in the country's electoral process, accusing President Evo Morales and his allies of fraud. In La Paz, the incumbent supporters and critics faced off in the streets. Sunday's partial results indicated that Morales may have to face rival Carlos Mesa in a runoff. But when Bolivia's Electoral Commission resumed the transmission of results on Monday, the scores had evolved, raising suspicions. It's a total fraud, and it's clear that voters don't want Evo Morales. In the cities, the majority voted against him, but out of nowhere, he's winning everywhere. Evo is not behaving properly. Evo is forcing us to come out into the streets. He bears the responsibility of what is happening here. Earlier in the day, Morales supporters held counter-protests, clashing with opponents. They say the difference can be explained by the rural vote. We want the votes from the provinces to be respected so that we don't have to go to a second round. Bolivia's presidential candidates need an outright majority or a 10% margin of victory to avoid a runoff vote. Morales is already under scrutiny as he controversially seeks a fourth term in office, despite the constitution limiting power to two consecutive mandates.